Vertical farming, what can they grow? Before embarking on a vertical farming journey, every farmer and investor must examine various factors that indicate the economic viability of the crops they are going to grow. Market demand, local climate and the techniques necessary for the cultivation of these crops should be carefully studied. While it is true that nearly all vegetables can grow in a vertical farm setup, let's look at what can be grown on a commercial scale and what key factors should be considered when looking for profitable crops. In this video, we'll look at what crops are currently profitable and what needs to happen for more crops to be grown commercially in a vertical farm. Let's get into the video. The majority of commercial farms grow leafy green herbs and recently berries. Some of the most commonly grown herbs and veggies in vertical farms are basil, lettuce, chards, chives, kale, collard greens, mint and bok choy. The first reason, the demand for vertically grown leafy greens and herbs is constant throughout the year. In 2020, it increased significantly due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The traditional food supply chain systems were hindered by the pandemic leading to an increase in demand for locally grown crops. There are several reasons why vertical farmers grow leafy greens and herbs over other vegetables. Firstly, they are easy to grow. They require little space. They have a growing cycle of only a few weeks and you can harvest and sell almost the entire plant. The fact that these leafy greens and herbs are not large also means the farmer can stack more vertical layers on top of each other to maximize efficiency and yield. Furthermore, if harvested properly and watered regularly, these vegetables have the ability to renew their leaves, allowing for a second and third harvest. Not only does this reduce labor and seeding costs, but it also enables farmers to sell high quality produce all year round. When compared to other traditional high-value crops like tomatoes, in tomato production, the fruit is the only thing harvested. The actual tomato plant has no commercial value, but requires a lot of nutrients and resources with no return. With leafy greens, on the other hand, vertical growers can sell a huge part of the plant, so not much of it gets wasted. This eliminates extra costs, especially energy, and time-consuming tasks such as the proper disposal of plants or composting. Another factor is that once the vertical farm's growing conditions is optimized for lettuce or her production, there are a huge number of varieties that thrive in these similar conditions. Let's look at the economic viability of the main types of crops outside of leafy greens and herbs that are currently and could potentially be grown in vertical farms. Berries. Blueberries and strawberries are the latest addition to be added to the list of products that can be grown commercially in a vertical farm. The command a premium price, however, price does fluctuate depending on the season. They also have a longer growing season that leafy greens require special attention in relation to humidity and temperature. However, despite a few more challenges, they can be grown profitably. Driscoll's and Plenty are building an indoor farm to grow strawberries using the and their first harvest should be on shelves by the end of 2023. Root Vegetables Root vegetables like carrots and beetroots can be successfully cultivated in hydroponic systems, but growing them indoors is much more challenging than with leafy greens or herbs. They require a lot of nutrients and in some cases up to 16 hours of light per day. These demands increase farmers' production costs significantly, making them economically unsustainable, at least for now. However, with seed companies working on the seed genetics to reduce growth cycles and nutrient needs, it may not be too far away. Vertical farming certainly has the potential to produce a greater variety of crops and expand well past just leafy greens and herbs. As technology and agriculture move forward, the expansion of the potential crops will definitely be a reality in the near future.